What's going on students? You're here with the math and man where I'll be showing you how to solve equations like this and like this one. Exponential equations. Before we do that, we got to learn some natural log rules, some properties that might help us solve these equations. This is saying that the natural log of a to the k power equals k times the natural log of a. I probably sounded like I was speaking Filipino to you right there. Or Tagalog. Let me put this into perspective for you, something that it's easier to understand. Say I have the natural log of 3 to the 4th power. All this is saying is to take the exponent, the 4, put it in the front, that's what that's saying right there, and then multiply it to the natural log of 3. So this means the same as this. The next rule you might want to remember is this inverse property right here. The natural log of that constant e equals 1. Alright, let's take a look at our first equation right here. One of my students did this earlier. I like to call out my students, point out their mistakes. I get a thrill of that as a teacher. No, I'm just kidding. Divide both sides by 3 because they thought that was 3b. No, you cannot do that. I mean, if it was 3b, yes, but this is 3 raised to the power of b, you got to do something else. So what we're going to use is this property right here to help us get rid of this b as an exponent. We can write it in a different form so everything's on the ground. You'll see what I mean right here. If I take the natural log of both sides, the natural log of 3 to the b power equals the natural log of 17. The same rules of an equation applies. Whatever I do on one side, I can do on to the other. So you can do that. That's legal. This part right here on the left side, we can rewrite by looking at this property. This property is telling us that we can get rid of this exponent and then put it in the front. So we can rewrite this as b times the natural log of 3. These two are equivalent by looking at this property. But why that is useful is that you don't have to deal with exponents anymore. Everything's on the ground, so everything from that point will be pretty easy. b times the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of 17. To get rid of this part, that's just some number on your calculator. We can divide both sides by the natural log of 3, which will cancel this part out on the left side, and now I got b equals to the natural log of 17 divided by the natural log of 3. Pop that in in the calculator. The natural log of 17 divided by the natural log of 3. And boom, you got your answer. I'm just going to round it off to the nearest tenth, 2.6. Look at this second equation. Before we take the natural log of both sides, because if I do that right now, it's going to look really confusing. Try to make the equation simpler by getting rid of this plus 3 right here. Get rid of a plus 3 in an equation, you can subtract 3 to both sides. So I get this, this drops down, 9n plus 10 equals, these cancel off, 81 minus 3, which is 78. Again, you cannot just divide by 9 of both sides. This is pinned to that exponent right here. So we can use the property once again, so we don't have to deal with any exponents. I can take the natural log of both sides, 9 n plus 10 equals natural log of 78. To rewrite this, I can write the exponent in the front, I'll just put in parentheses, n plus 10 times the natural log of 9 these two mean the same thing, remember, just look at this property, equals the natural log of 78. From here, I don't want to distribute this, I want to get rid of this right away. I can take that and divide it to both sides. So this would cancel off on the left. These two cancel off. Now I'm left with n plus 10. I'm just going to write that below. Before I pop this into my calculator, Let's just leave it alone for now until we have our variable all by itself. So I got one last thing to do right here, and you guessed it. Subtract 10 on both sides. These two cancel off, 
And now we got n all by itself. n equals the natural log of 78 divided by the natural log of 9 minus 10. Take out your handy calculator. The natural log of 78 divided by the natural log of 9. Do that first. Enter minus 10. And we'll just round our answer to the nearest 10. Negative 8.0. All right, last one, I promise. One more example and you're a pro at this. Let's get rid of these two terms and bring it on the other side by doing plus nine first. So add a nine and then get rid of 3.4. This is just multiplication right here in front of a constant. I can get rid of that 3.4 by dividing both sides by 3.4. Now I'm left with e to the two minus two n equals I'm just going to simplify this as a fraction. You can put that on your calculator. 25 over 17. All right. I have no other option. This is pinned to the exponent. So my last option to get rid of this exponent so that I have to deal with exponents, again, is taking the natural log of both sides. So let's rewrite this by using the same property that puts the 2 minus 2n into the front. The natural log of e equals the natural log of 25 over 17. And then from here, we can use this second property that we learned. The natural log of e equals 1. So this really turns into a 1. And if I multiply 1 to anything, it just becomes itself. So 2 minus 2n drops down equals to the natural log of 25 over 17. Now we're getting closer. We want n by itself. A simple algebra from this point. Subtract 2 from both sides and then divide by negative 2 and we got the answer. All of this we can put in the calculator. Round it to the nearest tenth which equals about 0.8. That was a beast of an equation, but it's not too bad. Just remember your properties. If you like this video, throw me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and I will be doing more equations with you in the future.